Early one evening, just as the pubs were opening, a traveller came walking down a cold and rainy street. He saw the door ajar, entered the public bar, said, Landlord, I would like a beer and something nice to eat. I fancy some crusty bread and roast beef of old England, butter from the churn and tangy homemade pickles too. And if you think you could draw some bitter from the wood, I'd be most content to quaff a foaming pint or two. I'll sit by your open fire and contemplate infinity. The quiet of your hostelry shall creep into my heart. And should a regular chance to come into the bar, maybe I'll engage him in a contest with the darts. Come in, said the landlord, I've got pre-packed fish paste sandwiches and soya sausage substitute I purchased by the ton. And if you fancy it, I might defrost a bit and plaster it with ketchup on a supermarket bun. I'll sling you a plastic pot of super sparkle ready brew, as advertised on telly by a famous rugby scrum. No filthy barrels here, we serve hygienic beer, safely paralysed inside this aluminium drum. Sit down by the fire, squire, I'll switch the logs on right away, or maybe you'd prefer to play my latest fruit machine. Three cherries in a row, that should set your heart aglow, and how about my jukebox, that should really set the scene. The traveller sat down beside the polystyrene ingle nook, the plastic beams vibrating to the electronic sound. Took a bite, began to chew, sank his pint of ready brew, gave a ghastly gurgle and fell dead upon the ground. Oh dear, said the landlord as he switched his colour telly on, another fatal accident, the third this week I fear. If they can't hold their own, why don't they stay at home? My God, we don't half get some funny customers in here.